Who's ready for a story time? So when we were buying our house, we liked basically everything about it. There was a couple things that we were like, eh, I probably wouldn't pick this in a house, but it's okay. And one of those things was the carpet in the basement. When we bought the house, Mary, this was her number one thing. She was like, we need to change the carpet down here. Yeah, let me get a close up of this thing. Ah, so you can see this carpet, it's like, Carpet you'd find in an office. Yeah. This is not comfortable. It's just. Looking. It shows every stain. Not only that, I think you can hear it over here, but here, just listen. It sounds like there's like a tarp like under the carpet. Not only that, but you can like definitely see the lines where like they had to make like cuts in the carpet. Yeah. And it's just not that good. So once we moved in, we got an estimate to get the carpet replaced down here. And guess what? It was like $5,000. And we were like, ooh, we probably need to spend that money somewhere else, like the carpet upstairs, because that was falling apart thanks to Kevin. And nails were And there was like nails sticking out of the boards. And Barrett was just learning like how to crawl and everything, so this has to get replaced. <laughs> so that's what we did. We'll wait on this carpet down here and see what happens. A couple months ago, we bought a freezer so we could store more food and things. And this is in our basement, so the installers had to take the freezer down the stairs. They had to come down the stairs this way and put the freezer in there. But guess what? One of the installers had like black tar grease. I don't know what it was, but he had it all over his shoes and he was walking down our stairs and our carpet and everything. And he got it so dirty. I'll show you a picture because I took pictures of it. Once he was done, I like asked him, I was like, I'm like, bro, like, how is this okay? He's like, oh, just call the store, they'll take care of it. Then he left. And I was so like confused and a little bit like angry, because I'm like, how could someone just do this to our carpet? So we called the store and they said that we had to get someone to come out and clean it and they would pay for the cleaning bill. So like, okay, that works. And we had someone come out and clean it and he spent hours, two, maybe three hours just on the stairs. And at the end, he came and got me, and he was like, I'm sorry to tell you this, but this carpet is uncleanable. You can still see like black stains like on the carpet where he was trying to clean it up. One big one there, so I kind of see him there. My shadow's in the way, but oh, yep, you can see that right there. So we called the store back and told them that the cleaner said it was uncleanable, and there's nothing you could do to clean it up. And since this stain went from the stairs onto our main level here, in order to replace it, you'd have to replace the entire carpet and flooring in our basement. So we filed a dispute and we won the case. And the store ended up paying us $5,000 to replace the flooring in our basement. So guess what? That is what is happening today. The new floor installers are coming to do redo our whole basement flooring. And it's gonna take them like three days. But we're excited because we didn't just get carpet, we got different type of flooring. We're gonna get carpet on the stairs and the bedrooms over here. But oh, it's gonna be so, so nice. Like I said, it's gonna take three days, so we're going to kind of film the progress and the update of our basement. So here's like the before shot. So we're just waiting for the installers to come. They should be here at really any minute and they'll get started. I like doing home projects myself. I'm not that good at them, but one thing I am proud of is this wall. I did this. And Mary's saying we should have filmed like a time lapse and that would have been really cool, but I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know if we showed this in a vlog. If we did, it's a repeat. Yeah, well I didn't work every day, so like two weekends. Yeah, it was a lot of work though. Cause days. you see the wall and you're like, oh that's so nice. I know, but it was, it was a lot of work. Also, I was trying to install a new light fixture. So we got this like chandelier piece and I have no idea how to convert that into a chandelier. So we're gonna have to call an electrician. So we've spent the past couple days clearing out all the flooring and stuff. We still need to move that into the storage room, but we've 
Put this all over here just like in a pile since they're not doing anything with the tile. It's six o'clock and uh, the fellas, they all went home. So day one is complete. There was a little issue. They kind of predicted going in that they would have to, uh, I don't know if sand down is the right word, but they had to like smooth out the concrete in the basement down there because it was like, a, it was kind of warped. So if they put the flooring down, it, it, went to, it would be bad. And I know they put carpet. Uh, let's just go down and take a look. It smells very weird. Oh, okay, yeah, so I know uh, look, they put carpet on the sides. So they have to do the stairs, obviously. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. This looks great. Ah, oh, there's the machine. They've been working over here. Hopefully that's fixed. <laughs> I think they said they did the bedroom, so I'm coming over here to take a look. Aha! Uh -huh. It's kind of hard to see, kind of dark. They got the bean bags in here. Obviously this part's not done yet, but that's all right. And they've got the spare room done. Very nice. So tomorrow, uh, I'm guessing since they're done with this guy, as I think they are. Anyways, they're gonna get started on the actual planks for the floor. This is the end of day two. The fellas are long gone and they've been working all day. So we're going downstairs to see the progress. Oh boys. Whoa, they finished the stairs? Oh, that's nice. New carpet makes everything so dark. I know. Come on down. Whoa. Look at this flooring, guys. It looks so nice. So they have to do just like that little part tomorrow? Yeah. And it's all done? Yeah, I think so. I'm just like Whoa. thinking about it. I can't wait to see it finished. Not much more to finish. And they said tomorrow. What the? They said tomorrow will probably just be like a half day and it'll be all done. And then we'll give a full reveal. What? <laughs> Are you helping to make breakfast, Barrett? Every day. Yeah. Good job. I was cleaning our oven here yesterday, the stove top, and I was wondering, I was like, how did like all this like egg splatter get everywhere? <laughs> now I know. <laughs> you can't use a ladle. What are you doing? Say cheese. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the basement is finished. It's been a few days, they've been working on it, and they did such a good job. Who's ready for a basement reveal? Me. Where's Barrett? Bye-bye, Barrett. There he is. Ah. <gasps> wow. Are you so happy? Um, it, looks, it looks like a new basement. It's, well, it is a new basement. And before this used to be wood, but now they put carpet on it. It looks way better. Let's get a close-up, guys. Ah, ah. <laughs> What's cool about this is you can see it's like normal wide. Like this is how wide the planks are, but it actually it looks like small planks too. So it gives it that kind of like different look. <laughs> What's the a little Barrett bean bag? <laughs> this is the finished bedroom. Got the nice edging here now. It's perfect. And then the bathroom. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely a different style, but I think it was fun. And I really like this story. Uh, just seeing it go from the beginning to the very end here with our new basement because it really shows how God can work in so many different ways that we as humans don't really think about. He can work in so many different situations. It would have been so easy for us to be angry. Hey, this guy just ruined our carpet. But 
just being patient with it, seeing it transform into what we envisioned the basement looking like when we bought the house, which I think is so cool. Hope this kind of encourages you. If you're going through a situation that feels kind of yucky or unfortunate, just be patient with it because the final outcome might be different than what you're thinking and it's going to be so much better. So I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you here next time.